वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू ए बी सी डी पैरामीटर ए बी सी डी पैरामीटर इज ऑल्सो रिफर्ड एज ट्रांसमिशन पैरामीटर और इट इज ऑल्सो रिफर्ड एज कैपिटल टी पैरामीटर दैट इज ऑल्सो रिफर्ड एज चेन पैरामीटर दैट इज ऑल्सो रिफर्ड एज कास्केडेड पैरामीटर सो आई एल टेल यू वाई दिज मीनिंग्स आर देर वेन आई एक्सप्लेन यू how abcd parameter is there with us with two port network now to understand abcd parameter how many things that i'll be covering in this video so see first i'll explain you what is the basic application which is there with abcd parameter after that i'll explain you how abcd parameter is implemented in two port network after that i'll explain you how we can have measurement of abcd parameter so these are the things that we are going to cover in this video so let us try to understand first what is the basic application which is there with abcd parameter so my dear students abcd parameter or you can say transmission parameter that is used in transmission line so in power transmission line we are using abcd parameter for a measurement of transmitted power transmitted voltage transmitted current power factor there are many things that we calculate by using abcd parameter in transmission line so whenever you will be studying power system in that you will be observing transmission line analysis that is been done with respect to abcd parameter or you can say t parameter let me mention that first now i'll explain you how abcd parameter is there in two port network so let me draw two port network first so you can observe here we are having two port network right in that this is my port 1 that is also my input port and this is my port 2 that is my output port now at input port we are having voltage v1 as per polarity you can observe and current i1 which is going inside this two port network now here at port 2 we are having voltage v2 with plus minus polarity you can see and current going inside that is i2 this is standard two port network right now to analyze abcd parameter what are dependent variables and independent variables so you see this v1 and i1 these are dependent variables in abcd parameters and v2 and i2 these are independent variables in analysis of abcd parameter so now when you form abcd parameter in this two port network at that time equations of v1 and i1 that is depending on v2 and i2 let me show you how equations are there with abcd parameter so v1 and i1 that is based on independent variables v2 and i2 so you see how i'm writing this here i should be writing v2 and here i should be writing i2 right now see to form equation of v1 and i1 see a b c d that is how it is there but remember here there will be negative sign right now why that is having negative sign over here the reason is this is transmission parameter now if you carefully observe this current i1 that is getting transmitted through this two port network so here current will flow in this direction at port 2 practically it will flow in this direction right but here for standard two port network we consider i2 always which is going inside the port 2 right so as in transmission parameter current is getting transmitted here direction of current that is opposite to i2 that's why here this is considered as negative right so you will have to follow standard process only v1 i1 is based on v2 i2 right a b c d and here there should be negative sign that is how you should remember 
Now let me show you how to form this in form of matrix. So here V1 I1 is there. So I am writing V1 I1. Now that is equals to we are having ABCD parameter matrix. So A, B, C, D that is how matrix is there. And here we have V2 and minus I2 that is how I am writing. Now see there is one more way in which you can provide minus over here at B and D and here V2 I2 that can be plus right. So it's up to you how to write this but this is how in general we write ABCD parameter matrix. Now I'll explain you how we can have a measurement of ABCD parameter. So if you carefully see these two equations of ABCD parameter in that as if you want to measure A and C then you will have to provide I2 is equals to 0. Now to provide I2 is equals to 0 what we need to do? We need to keep port 2 open circuit. Then you will be having A is equals to V1 by V2 and C is equals to I1 by V2. So let us keep port 2 open so I2 is equals to 0. So as if you keep port 2 open I2 will be 0 then you can have A that is V1 by V2 right provided I2 is 0 and you can have C that is I1 by V2 provided I2 is 0. Now what are the names of this A and C? So you see A is what? Ratio of voltage right. So it is voltage gain but you see it is V1 by V2 means input voltage by output voltage. So what it means? It is reverse voltage gain right and that we have it by open circuit. So I can say A is what? Open circuit reverse voltage gain. Now let us try to understand what is the name of C. So that is I by V means it is admittance right. Now see that is I1 by V2 means it is transfer admittance right. Now you see I1 means input current divided by output voltage. So input by output means reverse transfer admittance. So C is open circuit reverse transfer admittance. Now as if we want to measure B and D then what we need to do? We need to provide V2 is equals to 0. So to provide V2 is equals to 0 what we need to do? We need to provide output as short circuit right. So as V2 is 0 because of port 2 short circuit variable B of ABCD parameter that will be minus of V1 by I2 provided V2 is equals to 0 and parameter D that will be minus of I1 by I2 provided V2 is equals to 0. Now let us try to understand what is the name of this B. So you see that is voltage by current means it is impedance. Now you see that is input voltage by output current means it is reverse transfer impedance right and that has been measured at short circuit of output. So this will be short circuit reverse transfer impedance. Now what is the name of D? So you see that is a ratio of current right. So it is current gain but you see it is input current by output current means it is reverse current gain and that has been done at short circuit. So I can say it is short circuit reverse current gain. So if you observe for a measurement of ABCD parameter we need to provide adjustment at output port only. So once we will be providing open circuit at output port and second time we will be providing short circuit at output port. I hope you have understood this. Still if any confusion is there just place that in comment box. I will be definitely going to help you out for this and in next few videos there will be many more problems that I will be solving here in the playlist of network theory. So that will be definitely solve all the queries which is there with you regarding ABCD parameter. I hope you have understood this. Thank you so much for watching this video.